Hey, Wagwan, Yaman, yeah, Mr. Garfield here. We're going to be looking at a CAPE Integrated Mathematics Pass People Question on Differentiation. All right. It is from the 2019 Pass Paper. And we're focusing on Module 3, that's Calculus. All right. So the first part of the question says we're to show that d by dx of the ln of cosine x right we're just differentiating the ln of cosine x with respect to x right to show that it is equal to the negative of tan x all right and part two says we are to find the derivative of e to the power of 2x times sine x all right now first things first please ensure to like the video all right like the video and let us now begin so before I get into the question, let us look at some important formulae that you should know, all right, of differentiation. So if I want to differentiate u times v, right, where u and v are two functions of x with respect to x, then it is equal to v times the derivative of u with respect to x plus u multiplied by the derivative of v with respect to x. Okay, and that is known as the product rule. We normally use it when we're differentiating two um, functions. We normally use it when we're differentiating a product of two functions of x, all right? The other formula down here says, whenever we are differentiating the ln of some function of x, like what we have in the first part of the question, with respect to x, then it is equal to the derivative of the function all right, that's f prime of x, and we are dividing it by the original function, which is f of x, okay? And we, when we are differentiating an exponential function, like e to the power of kx with respect to x, then it is equal to the constant k multiplied by e to the kx, all right? So k is a constant, all right? k is a member of the set of real numbers. Okay, let's know the part one. All right, so part one solution. Okay, let me just scroll on a bit here. So we have more space. So we were given d by dx of the ln cosine x. All right, and we have to show that when we differentiate that it is equal to the negative of tan x. All right, so I'm now going to use the second formula, all right, or the second rule that I have here. It says whenever I'm differentiating the ln of f of x with respect to x, then it is equal to the derivative of the function, so that's f prime of x, divided by the original function, which is f of x. All right, that is what I will be doing. So using that rule, I can now say that this is equal to the derivative, so d by dx. d by dx is known as the differential operator. Whenever you see that symbol, it means that you're differentiating with respect to x, okay? So you're differentiating the f of x. The f of x here in this case is the cosine x, that is the argument of the log, divided by the original function, all right, so that's cosine x divided by the original function, which is cos x. All right, good. So what is the derivative of cos x? You should know that it is equal to negative sine x. All right, negative sine x. And we are dividing this by the original function, which is cos x. All right. Good. So let me just make a note over here. All right. Let me just make a note here. The note. If I differentiate the d by dx of cos x, that is equal to negative sine x. All right. Also, there is a trigonometric identity that you should be familiar with. Okay. So the tan of x is equivalent to sine x over the cos of x, 
All right. So whenever you say sine x over cos x, you know immediately that it can be written as tan x. Okay. Let's look at what we have here. Here we have sine x over cos x, but there's a negative in front. All right. So it means that I can write this as I can now write d by dx of the ln of cos x as sine over cos x, right? So sine x over cos x is tan x, but there's a negative in front, okay? And that is what they had asked us to show, okay? So we're finished with part one, and we can now come down here and say shown, all right? shown good so the rule that i had that i had used here all right when i differentiated the cost and divided by cost this is just a shortcut rule to the chain rule okay so you can use the long approach using the chain rule make a substitution so in this case you would be equal to cos x all right i know that some persons might have been introduced to the chain rule that way but many persons might not know about this shortcut to it, all right? Because if you, if you keep on doing different questions like this, you will recognize that the pattern is to differentiate what is inside the brackets, which is cos x in this case, and divide it by the original function, which is cos x in this case, all right? Okay, so even if you had used the long approach, when you make the necessary substitution, you would have still gotten this answer as negative tan x. Okay, good. So now we'll be doing part two, which says to find the derivative of e to the power of 2x times the sine of x. All right, so let's do that. This is now part two of the question. So I can now say part two solution. All right, they want us to differentiate e to the 2x times the sine of x. So I can write this as d by dx. Remember, d by dx is the differential operator. It means that we're differentiating whatever comes in the bracket here with respect to x. Okay, so I want to differentiate e to the power of 2x times the sine of x with respect to x. All right, so that is what we have. Good. So here, clearly you can see that we have the product of two functions of x. So it means that I'll be using the product rule, all right? The product rule is here, d by dx of two functions of x. u in this case is e to the two x. v in this case is sine x, all right? So that is equal to v times du by dx plus u times dv by dx. Let's just use the product rule here. So I can say that this is equal to, all right? So this is u times v, so it's gonna be v first, all right, which is sine x, v times du, so d by dx of u, u is e to the 2x, plus it's gonna be what? u, which is e to the 2x, times dv, so d by dx of v, v in this case is sine x. Okay, good. So this is now going to be equal to, remember I had shown you the rule when you're differentiating an exponential function, all right? So if you have d by dx of e to the kx, that is equal to k times e to the kx. In this case, the constant k is two, okay? So the derivative of e to the two x is going to give me two, all right? You differentiate the power first, so that's two, times e to the power of 2x, all right? So differentiate the power. So we differentiate 2x to get two multiplied by e to the same power, all right? Multiplied by the sine x on the outside there, plus you have e to the 2x multiplied by the derivative of sine x with respect to x, all right? So let me just put a note here. Let me put a note here as well. When you're differentiating sine x with respect to x, 
that is going to give you a positive cos x. All right. So d by dx of sine x is cos x. So I can write e to the two x times cos x here. All right. So that is what we will have. Now, this is our answer. However, I would just like to simplify it further. All right. So d by dx of e to the two x times the sine of x is equal to, you will recognize that e to the power of 2x is here and e to the power of 2x is here. So it means that e to the power of 2, e to the power of 2x is a common factor. So I can factor that out, all right? So e to the 2x is going to be factored out. So in brackets, I will have two times sine x plus the cos of x, all right? And I can now say that this question is finished. Okay, so this is the end of this past paper question. That is part two from the May-June 2019 past paper, all right, in section C, which is calculus, all right, that's module three. Okay, if this video was helpful, please ensure to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. All right, and comment down below. Let me know how this video has helped you. Okay, I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm also a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.